and welcome back into my kitchen. Today we are going to be making, are you ready? Are you ready? Philly's Quick Step Turtle Cheesecake Ball. If you can't tell, I'm into roosters. Now, that's a whole nother story all itself. I want to thank all my wonderful neighbors. I know I keep bringing you all these awesome Philly treats for the contest. Um, I'm sick, so um, yeah. I think they're still going to take the treats because they're so good whether I'm sick or not. But hey, the show must go on. Are you ready? Six easy ingredients. So good. Are you ready? I know you are. Come on. I'm just teasing you. Oh, come on. Are you ready? You want to go? Are you sure? Let's go. All right. We have three tablespoons, excuse me, three teaspoons of vanilla. We have 16 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. We're just going to mash all that in together. Okay. We're going to get these two ingredients going because we want to mix this in really good. Why we're mixing that in? That is what else we're gonna add in. Are right. you? Oh, so easy. Caramel. I have one cup of delicious caramel sauce. Now I can get that mixed in. We want all that cream in together. And my cream cheese is softened. Yep, more sweets. And we're going to add in one cup of powdered sugar because you can see it's getting creamed really good and we want it to start drying up. Mmm, look how beautiful that is in there. You just keep mixing. All you see, I have just a, a scraper here and just smashing it all together. Now you're wondering, how is this going to turn into a ball? Now I have two scrapers here. Why? Because I want to clean the one scraper off. You're, gonna, you're trying to figure out, how is this going to get solid? Well, I have this little trick up my sleeve here once we get this all mashed. You can see all the cream cheese in there. I'm going to get a hand mixer because your arms get Now, this is the secret. This is one cup white chocolate pudding. Alrighty, we're gonna turn this off. As you can see, with the pudding, it's starting to get solid. Now we're gonna add in one cup of finely chopped pecans. And you're gonna see, it's very simple to start forming it into a ball. And with this, you don't have to refrigerate it. It's ready to go right, right when you want to eat it. It's ready to go. If you want to refrigerate it, you're more than welcome to, but it's, it doesn't have to marinate or anything like that. This is ready to go immediately. You can see it's already getting beautiful and creamy. Looks like a big old pecan sandy. And again, having the other spatula to clean up. This spatula works out perfect for the bowl. I'm going to get this up, mixed up my spatulas. We're going to start forming our ball. Oh, no we're not, because see there's a big old blotch of peanut, of pecans. Alrighty. You have no idea how good this tastes. I, I've been cheating and taking my little tastes here. We get to start forming it into a ball. Very simple. And get your dish ready. I'm put a beautiful dish right here. Get this little bit extra. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> but you just carefully pat it around, smooth it around. Make a nice little ball. This is great for a last-minute party or. Just because, because who does not like turtles, I tell you. Then the last step are these easy, because you gotta have a chocolate, right? I just have these little graham crackers. Just place them around. Ooh, ooh, darn, some got on this one. I guess I'll have to. Mmm. Mm, 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 
Mm. The caramel is so awesome in this. And the pecans are so fine. And if you can't get your ball that perfect, you can just take one of your cookies and smooth it on out. And then just use it to eat. Mm. Simple cheesecake. Six ingredients. I'm not going to double dip on live camera. <laughs> From my kitchen here in Germany to yours at home. Six easy steps. Cheesecake ball. It's awesome. Easy to do. Bye.